All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Thomas, AKA Shad Assassins. And today I'm showing off a new environment painting that I've done. And more specifically, it's a new Mortal Kombat painting that I'm doing. This actual uh, painting of the courtyard from Mortal Kombat 1, which is one of my favorite stages in Mortal Kombat history. I wanted to do this actually quite a while ago, but I was pretty intimidated to do it at first because uh, just the amount of detail that's in the stage itself, I didn't know if I'd really be able to pull it off, but I've built my confidence up quite a bit in between time. So I decided to go ahead and paint this one now, especially with all this Mortal Kombat hype that's going on right now before the new game comes out. So here we are. Then not only did I just jump up and randomly decide that I was gonna go ahead and paint this, I actually made it harder on myself by trying to paint the painting as if the sun was going down. You know, they call that sundown. I don't know why I said that that way. Anyways, um, I, I don't even know why midway during the picture I decided to do that either. Um, I was blocking in the details in the beginning Then once I actually start, or blocking in the just main colors and when I started doing the details, like I really don't know what possessed me to do it. I just decided to make it harder in the middle of the painting. So, which it still wasn't too bad. It was actually uh, interesting trying to figure out how to, the difference between painting regular highlights and painting almost the uh, sort of shine from the sun. I didn't really know how I was gonna pull that off or do that when I initially started painting. Like I said, it was so unplanned, but it was cool sort of Cause I've never, I can't remember another painting where I just had to create orange highlights or anything like that, just based on where the sun was or how it was shining off of every other thing inside the painting itself. And then because I needed such intense shadows as a result, cause essentially the sun is behind everyone, just made it a lot more interesting. Outside of that, I sort of played with the actual layout of the courtyard itself, specifically the canopy. I didn't necessarily base it off of the original Mortal Kombat 1 game. This is sort of, it's kind of a mixture between the Mortal Kombat 1 style uh, canopy and the one from Mortal Kombat 9. And I don't even know why the switch. Then I almost forgot to add the two dragon statues in there as I was painting too. I had to go back and put those in. Yeah, it was simple enough though. Like I said, once I had everything drawn out, I went in and blocked my colors in, and then I started putting in my details, starting with painting the sky. Like I said, that was when I randomly uh, decided to make the sun go down. And then I had to go back and figure out how I was gonna do my shadows, which needed to be a lot more intense now because of how I sort of had the sun behind the entire picture, essentially, and then do my highlights from there throughout the rest of the picture, which ended up making me have to go back and redo shadows because I need to make everything darker and darker as I continue to paint. And then from there, I once I got all that black blocked in and sort of knew how I wanted to lay out the foreground of the picture, I should say, I blocked the monks in. So I just did the detail and the benefits of painting in Photoshop. I sort of did details for one monk and I just changed one other monk just to create some type of so all of them didn't just universally look the same to create a little bit of difference. I didn't need this looking exactly like Mortal Kombat 1. So I did that and then I just started duplicating the monks to make stuff easier. And I did the same thing with the, um, oh my God, I don't know what you call them. The guards, I guess. Whoever those dudes are with the masks in the front. I guess they are guards, I don't know. But uh, in any event, I sort of switched them over, which I probably shouldn't have did because they look, I don't know, one of them looks kind of off balance to me. But there's so much going on in the picture, it's not that noticeable. So who knows, maybe that's just me nitpicking. But um, yeah, and then from there, I just did the actual plane that they, little, uh, they fight on in the front. And that was the picture. Yeah, that's the courtyard from MK1. Very enjoyable, a lot of fun to paint. This actually took me quite a while though. Um, compared to most paintings that I do, I think this one took me quite a few hours to get done. I thought this was initially gonna take me about like, I don't know, maybe like an hour, hour and a half. I looked up and a couple of hours had passed by and then I decided to paint this so late at night. I think I started painting this around like nine o'clock. So I don't know. Um, <laughs> 
But like I said, it's one of my favorite environments or stages from Mortal Kombat history. It's literally the first stage in the grand history of Mortal Kombat lore. Like if you played MK1, the very first stage that you fought at, whether you were playing two players or the computer, no matter what, was gonna be this stage. So it's pretty iconic. And it just meant a lot in my life as far as playing fighting games is concerned. So knock this one out. So this is another classic fighting game painting that I've gotten done that I haven't painted before. Um, as I talk out loud, I think I really need to start getting some more uh, Tekken paintings in. Cause Tekken's actually next to Mortal Kombat, probably my, if not just as much as Mortal Kombat means to me, Tekken's pretty big on the list of my favorite fighting games. And I haven't done a single Tekken environment yet. The closest would be the makeshift uh, Law and Paul environments that I did in my other speed paintings, which you can search through in my fighting game paintings playlist or video game paintings playlist in my channel and my uh, King painting, which I really love. That's one of my favorite paintings that I've done in general. But uh, yeah, I think I need to try my hand at a lot more Tekken ones. And I think that King one I should retry because that'd be a bit of a challenge. So I don't know, we'll see. But um, that's all for today. I'm done rambling. I'm going to go back to painting, and I hope you all have a good day doing whatever it is that you've been doing while listening and watching this. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment to let me know what you think about the actual video or the painting, the video, though I guess that would be nice too. <laughs> and you all have a good one. I'm out.